In this video, I'll show you how to auto-increment the VLOOKUP column index when you're doing a VLOOKUP from a different workbook. In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how to auto-increment the VLOOKUP column index in the same workbook. And a question came up from one of the viewers in which the viewer asked, what if we're dealing with a different workbook altogether and we're doing a VLOOKUP from another workbook? So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in this video. That said, let's get started. So I have two workbooks currently displaying on the screen. The first workbook is called Workbook 1, and it consists of a series of months along with associated revenues, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, and profits. And my second workbook, the workbook on the right-hand side, is workbook number two. And this workbook contains a template in which I want to perform a lookup from workbook one. So as you can see, workbook one has all the months. In workbook two, I just want the data for a select number of months. That is February, September, and December. First, I will show you how to do the VLOOKUP. Then I'll show you how to auto increment the VLOOKUP column index. So let's get started. I'll begin by creating a very simple VLOOKUP statement, which goes as follows. Equal sign VLOOKUP, open parentheses. I'm looking up February and I'll put a dollar sign before the month in order to make that reference absolute. This way, as I drag to the right hand side, this value will not be changed, comma, now our source or our table array is from a different workbook altogether. So we're going to select the data from the other workbook, which in this case is workbook number one. So this is my range. So I'll select this range and I'll also apply an absolute reference to this to make sure that the references do not change as I drag right or down, then comma, then two, then false. There we go. So we created this and is correctly linked to the other workbook. Now, I want to also be able to auto increment the column index, which is currently set as two because revenue is in the second column. As you can see, if I drag this to the right hand side, the column index does not get auto incremented and it stays at two. And that's what we want to automate. So in order to avoid having to go in here and change two to three here, and in the next column change two to four, etc because this is gonna be a real pain if we have a lot of columns and we're doing this across many, many columns. So we want to avoid doing this manually. And doing this is very simple. So in our column index, instead of typing a number, we put the following statement. And that statement is column, open parentheses, B1. And the reason we're selecting column B is that B is the second column and the, the first lookup column is the second column in our source workbook that is in this workbook. So the first lookup column is the revenue column, which is the second column. That's why we're referencing the second column. Close parentheses and we're done. Now, as I drag this to the right hand side, there you go. The column index is successfully auto incremented once I drag from left to right. Now let's also drag from up to down. So to cover the full range. There we go. We were able to successfully auto increment the VLOOKUP column index, and we did it while doing a VLOOKUP from a different workbook altogether. And it's very similar to how we do it in a single workbook, but we just have to have in mind that our source data is in a different workbook. And that's how it's done. We just apply this basic VLOOKUP. We have to make sure we apply the absolute references when needed. And in the third argument, that is the column index argument, we just have to put column B1. Now, if your first lookup column starts at the third column, then you can put column C1, etc. And then you drag to the right. So that's how it works. And that's how we can auto increment the column index. Now, a few considerations you have to have in mind when doing a VLOOKUP from a different workbook altogether. And the first consideration is that if the source workbook, that is in this case, workbook one gets deleted, or if the directory changes, that's going to eventually affect the target workbook in which the VLOOKUP is being performed. Now, it's not going to affect it immediately because Excel stores a cached version of the last retrieved results. But if you close the workbook two and reopen it and then refresh the data and workbook one is deleted, 
then you will get a reference error. And in order to avoid that possibility, there are three things you can do. First one is to copy and paste the VLOOKUP results as values. That is, for example, going here, copying and pasting as values, as so. That's the first option you have. The second one is to make sure you have a backup of your source workbook, that is workbook one. For example, make sure you have a backup so make sure it doesn't get deleted or corrupted. And the third option is avoid referencing workbooks you plan to delete or move to a different directory. So these are three things you can do and three considerations you have to have in mind when doing a VLOOKUP from a different workbook. But in short, that's how it's done. That's how you do a VLOOKUP from a different workbook. And this is how you can also auto-increment the VLOOKUP column index. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future videos. See you soon.